We're following breaking news out of Taiwan. At least nine people were killed and more than 800 are hurt in a magnitude 7.4 earthquake. This is the largest quake in Taiwan in a quarter century. Here's ABC's Christian Cordero. In Taiwan today, just before 8 a.m., a preliminary magnitude 7.4 earthquake shook the entire island nation, leaving some buildings leaning at a 45 degree angle. Others collapsed with motorbikes under awnings, the entire first floor leveled. Vivian Shao is a reporter based in Taipei, more than six hours away from the epicenter. I was in the office at that time and people were holding on to the doors because everything was falling off and we wanted to get to the doorways in, in case of so, something collapsed. Train service was suspended across the entire country of 23 million people, as was subway service in Taipei. Some people were evacuated from the subway as well, from the MRT line. Closer to the epicenter, the quake triggered landslides. A lot of firefighters are assembling search and rescue teams to help out the more severely damaged places. At least two dozen buildings have collapsed, according to the fire department. This child was pulled out from under the rubble of one, then carried away. We have already experienced a lot of aftershocks. Um, within like one and a half hours after the initial earthquake, there were 39 aftershocks recorded. The U.S. Geological Survey registered its initial aftershock at a magnitude 6.5. Tsunami advisories were triggered in nearby Japan, then later lifted. Some small tsunamis hit islands in southern Japan. None caused any damage. This was the strongest earthquake to hit Taiwan in a quarter century. In Washington, Christiane Cordero, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.